Hello and welcome! I'm Helen Pecker and I'm the designer of these wedding dresses. Today we will make overbust corset pattern. For this I will use special paper with horizontal and vertical lines. This will make my job easier. I retreat from the cut of the sheet to centimeters and the measurement front length. Let me remind you how we make this measurement. So, I measure the distance equal to this measurement and mark the point. The waistline will be draw through this point. But not now. Now I draw a vertical line along the section of the paper. Then I draw a horizontal line through the previously marked point. This is the waistline. The point of inner section of these two lines I call the letter T. From the point T upwards I mark the length of the back from the waist. I mark point A. After that, I need to measure the armhole depth. From the T point upwards, I mark the depth of the armhole. To do this, from the armhole depth measurement, I subtract 5. I call the resulting point the Russian letter P. You use your alphabet. From point T down the vertical line, I postpone the measurement distance between the waist and hips. The resulting point I call the Russian letter V. You can use, for example, the letter H, because there will be a line of the hips. I draw a horizontal line from this point. I repeat again, this is the hip line. From the point on the hips, I measure the width of our pattern. The width of the pattern is half the measurement of the bust line. For example, the measurement of the bust line is 92 cm. So this 92 should be divided by 2 and use the resulting 46 cm. I call the resulting point Russian B1. From point A, I draw a horizontal line with a length equal to the width of the pattern. I call the resulting point A1. Now I connect point A1 with point Russian B1. From the point Russian P I draw a horizontal line. This is the armhole depth line. I call the resulting point the Russian letter P1. One more point on the waistline I call T1. The next measurement that I need is the second bust width. It is also called the second front width. Let me remind you how it is measured. From this point to this point, I will explain again. It is first point, and this is the point that I need now. From this point to the second same point. This is the second front width. I divide the front width measurement in half and measure this half from the Russian P1. From point P to the right, I postpone the measurement of the back width divided by 2. I call the resulting points P2 and P3. Now I divide the section of the line P2-P3 
in Helbot on the drying. The resulting point is called the rushing point P4. Then, from P4, draw a vertical line down to the intersection with the hip line. 